We move now to the WIVC North where the Central Panthers were looking to go to 2-0 on the season. At Jacksonville Routes expense, Brad Dixon's team playing at the old field at McMurray and the defense, wow, was it stingy early in this one. Sterling Stotts with the strip away, Brody Waddle with the pickup and that's a very short field with which Central needs to work. And in the red zone, who are you going to call? Of course, Brandon Rossmiller, the All-Stater, but now fullback sized in from six yards away. It's 6 nothing at this point in favor of the Panthers as the two-point conversion fails. I mentioned Brandon Ross Miller. He's bigger and stronger. The speed still very much evident in the chase down sack right here. Route forced to punt and that sets up this. Dominic Williams off jet sweep type action. Beautiful cutback from him. 40 yards away into pay dirt. Two-point is good this time. It's 14 to nothing and the Central Panthers were literally rolling at this point. More to come from the defense. Garrett Wallace getting into the route backfield. A quarterback sack right there. The defense was very good for Central at all levels in this first half. Pitching a shutout. Check out Trevor Bong skying for this interception and that would give the ball back to the Central Panthers. They'd go back to work in the second quarter as well. Already up 14 to nothing. The second man on the give is Brody Waddle and he is going to plunge his way home from 37 yards away to extend extend the lead at that point to 20 to nothing. More to come on the ensuing possession. Route trying to get something back and something going. Brandon Ross Miller is having none of it. A 40 yard pick six interception. It was 28 nothing at the half. Central goes on to win 41 to 12. The Panthers will try to go to 3 and 0 next week at home on Saturday when they host Concord Triopia. Meanwhile, at the college level today, Western Illinois gives up a touchdown pass on the very first play from scrimmage and never really gets right, dropping a decision today to UNI as the losing streak continues. Also today, Quincy University football returned to play with a scheduled scrimmage against William Jewell, but the game only lasted a half due to three separate lightning delays. The game ended in a 7-all tie at the half as Paul Sullivan provided the Hawks their only score on a 32-yard touchdown reception.